With me now, Stephanie Grisham, who served in the Trump administration as White House Press Secretary and Communications Director. She was also Chief of Staff to former First Lady Melania Trump. Uh, always good to see you, Stephanie. Thank you for being here. The other indictments, one could argue, Trump certainly does, helped him politically. He was able to fundraise off the indictment in New York, off the classified documents indictment in Florida. Is this case different? I don't think so. You know, um, he's already, of course, putting out the normal statements of being a witch hunt, et cetera. I saw today he just put something out saying he's never received more support ever. And thank you so much. Uh, one of his spokespeople said it's another day, another indictment. So I think what's been interesting about this one is how his team has been so prepared. And when you really think about it, it's because, again, this is going to be or this is the third indictment for a former president. And now they are so prepared for how to react. And strangely, they've re received such a positive bump in the polls and in fundraising that this has only been a positive for them. I think I talked to a, a, another guest, a Republican strategist earlier on the program, Craig Fuller, and he made the argument that uh, those in the middle are going to be the most closely watching this, right? That's the group that every political party wants to grab and that those, if they're on the fence, go, OK, and another indictment, is this enough to sway them? How does this overall reflect, reflect the Republican Party and how does the Republican Party, the GOP, react to that block of voters right now? How do they strategize and reach them? You know, sadly, I don't think they are doing that. They need to be thinking big picture like that because your former guest is right. In a general election, this is absolutely not going to sway the very votes that he needs and which he lost uh, to Biden over. So I don't think they're thinking big picture right now. I think that they're trying to just simply get the Republican nomination and then I think we're going to see a big flip in a lot of, uh, you know, his talking points, and he's going to go try to go a little bit more to the middle. But I don't think that there's a chance that Donald Trump will win in a general election. And I think that Republicans are being very, very short-sighted on, on that issue. And I'll say the people that are running against him in the Republican primary, I've been disappointed. I mean, obviously, with the exception of Will Hurd, Asa Hutchinson, and, of course, Chris Christie, they're not throwing out swings like he did with Hillary. That's how he won against Hillary. And, and that is how the base, what they want. They want a fighter. And they're not throwing out swings like he has no problem doing to them. So that's been disappointing. And I think, again, very short-sighted of them. You might consider this a swing. Um, Mike Pence, uh, it throws a soft punch, though, when it comes to going after the former president. He said in a statement today, the indictment serves as an important reminder. Anyone who puts himself over the Constitution should never be president of the United States. Could he pick up some momentum for his role that day? And should come out even stronger um, with his comments. You know, I've been happy to see the last couple of uh, statements that the Pence team and that Pence has put out. I think he should come out stronger. I think that he has real momentum in what he did on January 6th. I think he is known as a very honest man with integrity. I think no matter who is looking at, you know, what he gave to the the January, well, he didn't give anything January 6th committee, but to the special counsel investigation, it, he doesn't tell lies. He's not a dishonest man. And so I think he should come out harder because I think he will be believed and that quietly there could be some uh, voters that, that switch to him, just not admitting it openly. Yeah, honest. I mean, even Trump himself in the documents laid out, you're too, you're too nice, right? He wanted something different from too him, honest. allegedly. Yeah. Um, so this debate, I'm curious, would you like to see Trump on the stage with the other GOP candidates who qualify? He's yet to commit to it. We're less than a month away from this important event at, at a critical time. Yes, is my short answer. As a citizen, I think everybody should be able to see, you know, their their potential nominee up there debating and, you know, debating, debating the issues, but also comparing, you know, the different ways that people deliver uh, their their points, which Trump has a very uh, distinct way of doing, as you know. So I, I would like to see it. Um, if I were advising him, I would tell him not to do it. He is so far ahead in the polls. Why do it? I don't think he will do it. I think I know that um, he's thinking about doing some something to, you know, off put another interview during the debate. But I would like to see it. Yes. And I, I do think that it won't be a good look for him um, if it, it makes him look scared. 
But I would be interested to see how the other candidates up on that stage react and talk about him in his absence. I think they would have a real opportunity there to point out that he didn't care enough to even take the debate stage. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.